Hi, I'm Arlene Lewis. I'm a speech language pathologist and I'm on a mission to end dyslexia for kids in BC. And joining me here today is my colleague, Sandy Collins. She's also a speech language pathologist and we're here to collaborate on this mission. And thank you for joining me today, Sandy. It's nice to be here. <laughs> thank you. So Sandy, I'm curious, um, can you share maybe one success story that you've had oh, around ending a, dyslexia? That's a hard task, Marlene. Um, there's so many. I can think of um, one little boy that um, we worked with recently, and um, he was kind of a funny little guy. Um, he would come to our clinic uh, every day and feeling really down about himself and not confident at all. Sometimes in a kind of foul mood, he'd come through the door and kick things and throw his coat on the floor and be kind of uh, a little bit grouchy. And um, as the weeks went by, uh, he got less and less um, grouchy. And one day he came through the door, came around the corner and, and looked at us and, and just looked at my assistant and I and just said, hello, ladies, <laughs> with this kind of very buoyed, you know, upbeat tone. And we just cracked up. And it was, um, it was kind of a preview of, of things to come because he kept on getting more and more um, confident and, and his, uh, f his feelings about reading and school and everything were improving. Yeah. Uh, it was and how wonderful. long did that take? Well, that was a few weeks in, maybe a couple of months uh -huh. altogether. Uh -huh. And um, as he continued to improve, um, we heard um, ongoing things. Um, kids being insightful about themselves often. He um, came in one day and, he, and was talking about his uh, listening at school. I would often ask, are you noticing anything that's improving for you at school? And kids do a lot of listening at school. And he said, well, yeah. Well, okay, well, what, what was it? And he said, well, I think my teacher's getting better at talking. <laughs> and um, we'll never forget that story because, and quite a few kids actually do say that because they're noticing that they are understanding and they are following what's happening. Yeah. And it's happening with their listening skills as well as their reading. And as their fluency and comprehension builds, they start to realize that they are actually yeah. doing this reading thing that was so elusive yeah. in the past. Yeah. And what grade was he in? I think it was grade four. Okay. About so, grade four. Little yeah, guy. Yeah. Little yeah, guy. Yeah. But just long had enough. Been struggling old along enough for, that, you know, he had yeah. never had any success with yeah. reading. Yeah. Um, was not really considering himself yeah. to be a reader. Yeah. And a lot of kids come in that way and they just say, I, I can't read. Yeah. No yeah. way. Can't yeah. read. Yeah. And that awesome. changes. Yeah. Great. Thank you.